go. Hi everyone, it's Nishti here and I'm really excited because today I've got a parent who has a child with cow's milk protein allergy. And this lovely lady, Helen, I met her on Instagram and that's following a post I did on uh, if anyone out there with a child with cow's milk protein allergy could please share their story, then please reach out to me because I feel that being here and sharing your story will empower someone else out there who's watching. So thank you very much, Helen, for uh, agreeing to come on the show. We might as well call it. <laughs> uh, so um, we've just had a little chat, you and me, and please yeah. tell your story, because it's a brilliant story. Um, so, okay, Theodore was born and was kind of fine, um, was going along crying quite a lot, but we assumed that was just normal. We got to around two weeks of age and he was gaining loads of weight and the um, the midwives discharged us because he was, he'd not really even dropped any weight. He'd just gained, gained, gained. Um, but we, we had a bit of a niggle and we're a bit like, he is crying a lot of the time um, and it didn't feel quite normal. But by two weeks, we were completely discharged. Um, and the crying just kind of continued really. Um, every time we lay him down, he'd scream. Every time we tried to change him, he'd scream, he'd arch his back. Feeding was horrendous. Um, very prolonged at times. Um, and you're and he, feeding on you. Uh, breastfeeding, yeah. He won't, he, I don't know if it's linked, but he won't take a bottle, he won't take a dummy. So it's very, um, all consuming um so yeah he basically was very very poorly um and c clearly in a lot of pain and we went to help uh, to the doctors and we explained this at his eight week check and she was quite dismissive really and kind of said well he's gaining weight really well um it's probably nothing if you want you can try a dairy-free diet but it probably won't do anything um so I did, I did anything that I could to try and help him. And it was almost 48 hours. And the difference was like black and white. He was a different boy, um, continued how to gain old, weight. How old was so he? He was about 10 weeks by this point. Um, but the, the first 10 weeks of our life, of his life, we knew something was wrong and we spoke to our health visitor. We spoke every time we took him to the weighing clinic. And they just said, it's colic, it'll pass. He's gaining weight, so it's okay, don't worry. Just keep going, everything will be fine. Okay, um, so you know this whole thing about colic. So I'm a dietitian. I don't believe in colic. <laughs> I believe uh, that dairy causes colic. And whether that's through coming through the breast milk or through formula milk, the protein in dairy is just too big for our little babies to handle. It's, uh, it's intended for a calf, really, isn't it? Mm. So colic, I, I, I think it's a good money-making industry for Infocol that really doesn't treat the cause of the problem. But uh, yeah, sorry, I just wanted to say that. No, well, we did, we did the Infocol, we had gripe water, we tried yeah. everything yeah. we could and nothing made a difference at all until I just cut dairy out of my diet. Mm -hmm. And we were you know nappies were a disaster and they just came right down and he was just a different boy um so i've since then he's uh 15 weeks old now and since then i've been dairy free and he is just a much much happier little boy he's continued to gain weight um he's continued to kind of flourish really and um he's crying Sorry, he's just started crying right oh, that's now. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. So, you know. Let me just check on him. Your mom, of course. Oh. So this whole like, thing about gaining weight, I hear this a lot from parents, that they've been told that because the child is gaining weight, everything's okay. But weight is not the only health, it's an indicator of being healthy. It's just one indicator. And I think we need to look at our children holistically. Are they sleeping well? What are the poos like? Um, how, and also, how is mom coping? Because if mom is not, you know, if you know something's wrong, your intuition knows, right? So 
I often go with what the mother thinks and believes because I really trust your intuition more than I trust myself, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Because mothers know something is not right. So we can't just look at the weight and go, oh yeah, they're fine. Having an allergy to cow's milk, the symptoms are numerous. And I have done a video just the other day about the numerous symptoms of cow's milk protein allergy. And I don't know if I put weight loss, but weight loss is one of them. Um, but obviously weight gain is, doesn't say that you've got cow's milk protein allergy or not. But your other symptoms you mentioned, Helen, with mm -hmm. the, so your colic and arching the back and poor sleep, they are classical symptoms of a non-IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy. So what, how did you get the, all the help you needed then, um, Helen? If so we, we tried this dairy-free diet with kind of no guidance at all. It was just, just cut out dairy out of your diet. Luckily, I kind of had some awareness because my husband was celiac, so I knew how to look for the ingredients and things in, um, on packaging. But that was kind of it. I was just sent away from the doctors. There was no follow-up appointment booked no, or scheduled. No, so we have actually got, on my request, we've finally got a pedi pediatrician consultant, but it's not until he's seven months old. Um, okay, okay. So it's kind of pointless because we'll have hopefully be starting weaning him by then. So, um, so yeah, I kind of looked elsewhere for help and support, and that's where I kind of found you and saw your stories. But Instagram and Facebook seem to be where the information is rather than at the GP's office. Yeah, yeah. And you know, as a healthcare professional, we would cringe at that. But there are people on Instagram and Facebook, such as myself and other pediatric dietitians that bring and raise awareness around, for example, allergies and also other things. So I think it's great that you did that. But, you know, it's it, going dairy free is not just as simple as just go dairy free. And obviously we need to make sure we substitute for calcium rich products, B12 and all that. So were you aware of, of those things or did you do your own research and ask moms or? Yeah, it kind of just through my own research, really. I went back to the GP and said, do I need some supplementation um, for my own diet? I kind of read, I'm not sure if this is factually accurate, so please forgive me if it's not, but that the baby didn't need any supplements because they would get all their vitamins and minerals from me. It would be me who needed something. There is one, um, vitamin. There is one vitamin they need, which is uh, your vitamin D drops. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, but that's right. So you, but you need a lot more calcium. Did they tell you how much more calcium you need or? No, no they just, they, when I went back, they prescribed some calcium tablets and. Oh, that was it. yeah. But obviously again, you know, we can't expect the GP to, to, to advise on nutrition. Obviously it's great if they do, cause it's yeah. such a good role, but you know, I think Again, you can, if you are watching this and you are um, in the UK, you can ask your GP for a referral to the Cedar Dietitian. Because I think, again, what people don't know is that the dietitian can actually help you to diagnose and treat cow's milk protein allergy. Because obviously milk is nutrition. It's the only nutrition yeah. the baby can have. And, and we are the experts, so we can, we can diagnose. So did they ever go through the challenge with you? Like how to really confirm? No. So there are lots of things that unfortunately you didn't get, but it sounds like you've still done so well because Theodore is thriving and that's all we want. Not yeah. just gaining weight, but also thriving. <laughs> yeah. And it's things like for the first, what, 10 weeks of his life, I literally had to hold him. Like I couldn't lie him down and it was such yeah. a drain on me, but also yeah. Like, that impacts on his development as well um, and things that like he can lie down now and oh. I, I'm looking forward to the dietitian appointment when it does come but I'm kind of satisfied you know that everything by then done something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so obviously now it comes to dairy-free weaning but I'm sure again you've there's so much online about that and uh, so yeah there's kind of a, a, a wealth of kind of healthcare professionals who are quite passionate about it on as to be honest instagram i think facebook is more of kind of mum's own 
experiences whereas Instagram you kind of can see the people who are you can see their accreditations you can see what they're about and you know that you're getting um, kind of good quality information yes yes no I think that I think that's fabulous that you that you you've decided to just take it in your own hands and and go for it and what you have now is a child that's thriving and you knew that gaining weight wasn't good enough there was something else not right and yeah you can take a no for an answer no yeah it's fine if he gains weight but if he's constantly unhappy then something's yeah. not right yeah so do you what would what do you wish you if you could look back or if you have some advice for a fellow mom out there what would you say to them if if they're watching this and they are they're thinking oh maybe my child has cow's milk protein allergy what would you suggest that they do try try and cut it out and um, i think that would be the biggest thing and it's see if it makes a difference mm. kind of keep knocking on the door i know i was speaking to another mum today and her son has got a severe cow's milk allergy anaphylactic reaction which oh, thankfully yes. theodore doesn't have yeah but she yeah. said she took her baby to A&E, not because he'd had an anaphylactic reaction, but because he was screaming and he was in pain and they just couldn't put the finger on this um, pain. And through that, they got a referral to a paediatric dietitian. Yeah. I'm having to wait seven months because I've just kind of grinned and bear it. So I think yeah. don't grin and bear it, seek help. Maybe not A&E because of the strain on the A&E and all that seek help from somewhere and try and get the support you need yeah yeah no that's brilliant um so if anyone out there is watching this obviously we just need to say yeah i was just thinking about that you're breastfeeding theodore so i am breastfeeding those yeah. who are not breastfeeding it's a little bit more difficult because all formulas out there are made from cow's milk or soya milk but soya milk is not indicated in those under six months so you need a specialized formula without cow's milk if you are watching this and if you are formula feeding your baby. And that you get from your GP or your dietitian. We can all prescribe that for you. And they are nutritionally the same. They just don't have cow's milk in. And I wish they were available as readily as cow's milk formula is because, yeah, it would just help a lot of people out there. But so we're just making that clear. And if you want to share your story or if you have any questions for either Helen or myself, then please uh, comment below this video. But thank you so much, Helen. I no think problem. Thank you for speaking to me. Uh, because this, this thing about, oh, your child is gaining weight, they can't have calcium protein allergy, is probably something I've heard a million times over the years. So a good thing to just rule that out, that just because your child is gaining weight doesn't really mean everything there's we need to look at the child holistically so it's nice to hear a dietitian with lovely mom of one or of one yeah one. first one the third one no first the first <laughs> one sorry first one. oh well see your experience i mean you had him sorted at 10 months i see a lot of parents who waited longer for that like even three four months and it, it's heartbreaking so yeah I'm glad that you had him sorted as early as possible. So thank you so much, Helen. And thank we'll you see very you all much. later. Bye, everyone.